Hello guys, and uh, welcome to the self-built uh, camper van channel. It's the 28th of uh, January, and um, Sunday afternoons, I um, usually go out on the, on the local hills and uh, call into the local uh, radio networks. Now, this afternoon, I have uh, headed to uh, Dunkery Beacon. It's the highest point in Exmoor, and uh, the highest point in Somerset. Not much of a view this afternoon, as um, seems to be um, up in the clouds up here. But uh, the plan this afternoon is to um, is walk up to the trig point and uh, set up a portable station. Now, today I have brought with me a radio from uh, from the 1980s. It's a Midland uh, Porter Pack. It comes with a speaker microphone, but uh, this afternoon I will be using. Um, using a separate uh, speaker and uh, got the Antron uh, 99 with me and uh, very 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 short pole it's a little bit windy so uh, I'll be setting up a, up a tarp just to um, take a little bit of shelter and to um, try and keep the radio uh, dry but um, the time now is uh, it's coming up to about 10 to 1 and it's, it's going to it's going to take me about, um, about half an hour, I expect, to, uh, to walk up to the trig point and uh, probably about 15-20 uh, minutes to, um, to set the station up. But uh, the network starts at uh, 2 o'clock on uh, channel 34 UK FM on, uh, on Citizens Band. And uh, I'm going to make myself a, a flask before I, before I head up and um, have a cup of coffee. But um, there's not really much of a view to, uh, to see at the moment because uh, being up in the clouds. But uh, temperature wise, it's probably about 8-10 uh, degrees. It's, uh, it's fairly warm, but uh, it's just a little bit uh, windy. But um, we'll catch you um, up at the trick point. afternoon uh, Tony yeah not much cover at all I could I could have uh, sat up right next to uh, to the trig point and taken cover but it ruins pictures for uh, anybody that turns up we're set up just to the side and uh, little little tarp up and uh, we're out the wind no problem at all as long as the radio stay dry Tony that's, that's all good but uh, you're eight, you're five and five no problem they're gonna work uh, working uh, Tommy CTX up on Dunkery Beacon so he's struggling a bit there with uh, out in the wild there. So Brian, north, 20 miles north of the bridge in there. Charlie Sango, 163, 108. Give him a call, Brian. Yeah, how about it, Tom? You should have me. I got you full scale this way, but uh, audio a bit uh, on uh, the crap side. But uh, there we are, we're understanding you. Yeah, good afternoon, Brian, and uh, it's understandable uh, on, on the on the audio being that the radio was built in the 1980s. It's a fair few years old. It's a little bit rusty, but it still works. You're 59, no problem, mate. Yeah, terribly sweet there, Tom. But uh, there we are. Not your normal south, so under the conditions, uh, the doors, you're doing well. Okay, but we won't hold it. I'll uh, put it back to uh, let you come back to the final line, and then put it back to uh, sit for the next one. Yeah, nice to work with you this afternoon, Brian. I'll say 7 3. Back to the chair. Okay, we're going to, to uh, Tony on the floor. He's there, the uh, 163 Charlie Tango, 145 there. Tony, if you've got Tom, I assume you had there. Give him a shout, Tony. 1059, 045. How are we doing, Tom? 045 from uh, CTX 1059. Good afternoon, Tony. Yeah, you're coming in here um, 
eight to nine radio radio four slightly distorted. Yeah, that's the Roger there. We are five and five, they're fifty five, no problem sort of don't three beat him. Better not hold it, Tony, thanks for the contact, I'll say seven three. Roger that back you said. I just checked on Mark on the mouth in the Mark Alpha Zero Four. Do you got anything on Tom on the Dungaree Beacon there, uh, Mark? Okay, we check on James at Stroud there, the 2681. You got anything on Dunkery Beacon, James? Yeah, no worries there. He's coming through seven and nine. Um, I forgot the person, although. Uh, Tom, how oh, about it, Tom? You got a copy on James? Yeah, good afternoon, uh, James. Uh, got your 55, uh, no problem, buddy. Okay, my friend, I got you on a 57, 5 and 7, no worries at all. We won't keep it. Uh, back to you, time back to uh, Sid. Yeah, thanks for the 5 and 7 there. 73, back to you, Sid. Okay, we're going to check on the other James here. I think he's M5 there, Junction. I'm sorry to do that. So uh, happy we're going to your belt, are we? Okay, and the same to you. Thank you very much for coming to visit us. And as I said, it was lovely to see you, and you take my uh, advice. Okay, back to you, Lee. Yeah, okay, Elaine. Hey, I'm just going to check on Sid. He's got his uh, radio in bits at the moment, trying to change some fuses. So uh, he said to carry on and uh, see if there's anyone out there who wants to go through to uh, anyone else. So if we open it up, then anyone out there who hasn't been through to anyone want to go, uh, want to go through? Yeah, I'm about to keep it. Just like to say hello to Brian. Yeah, okay, uh, Tony, take it, mate. Yeah, Brian, Tony, mate, 108, copy the 990. No, I've got nothing on it today, Tony. I'll have to turn the wick up a bit, are you? Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, Roger, Lee. Well, I tell you what, I've got a little story. I was up your way, uh, uh, north of Bridget the other day. And I was in, I can't remember, between places. Uh, Thumbs up, share the video, and uh, subscribe to the channel.